babies, how are you? How are you? How are you? So today I'm coming back with another pick a card reading. And today's pick a card reading is going to be about should you should you stay or should you leave? So should you stay with the person that you're on that you that you're thinking about on your mind or should you leave? I'm looking right out. They said take all three. Stay and leave. I'm going to clarify with the black deck. Let's see what we got going on here, pile number one. We have unrequited love, career and finances, and worth waiting for. So, should you... Where is that number? 
Dang it. Damn it. I was trying to find another little uh, thing, y'all. I found like a little thing somewhere. So, should you stay with this person or should you move forward? Remember, a tarot reading is only the energy that you're in right now. So, energies are constantly changing. Energies are constantly switching. But even if that's the case, you should always do what's best for you in your heart of hearts, okay? Um, you should always do what's best for you in your heart of hearts. So what I'm seeing here right now, pile number one, should you stay or should you go? I feel like what Spirit is trying to say to you is this person right now, they're more focused on their career and finances and more focused on their stability than they are focused on love. So with all that being said, like this person is not, and not in any rush to get married tomorrow or get into a relationship with anyone tomorrow. You get what I'm saying? So I feel as though the best thing you could do for this person, if you want to be with this person, is to do the same thing that they're doing. Because I feel like you feel, you might have some feelings towards this person, or you feel like you want to be with this person, or you know, you've been dating this person for a while, but this it just doesn't seem consistent. Um, it just doesn't seem consistent or whatever. Um... And you're not sure why i feel like again because this person may like you may favor you may you know like dealing with you like dating you or whatever but this person is very much focused on themselves like this is this person is very much focused on themselves this person very much is um in tune with themselves like they already had career goals and dreams and shit and stuff that had nothing to do with having a partner you get what i'm saying so it's nothing it's nothing that you could have did it's nothing that you could have done it's nothing that you could have did for you to move this um relationship even further for you to escalate this situation uh for you to escalate the situation or move this relationship further than it already has been moved or escalated thus far um because it's nothing that you did to make it stop moving this way or it's nothing that you did to make it um to make it like so down like this okay i say this because I say this because the thing about this person, the thing about this person is they're more so focused on themselves. Like they see you, they definitely see you. And I feel like in the future, they may be, um, they may be willing to do a relationship with you. And I feel like the relationship would be good. Like in the future, or, you know, maybe a couple of weeks, a couple of months from now, you guys could really be getting into each other. You guys could end up spending more time with each other, dating each other. Things get better with the work waiting for. But however, when when we talk about waiting and we talk about um, being in waiting and stuff like that and waiting for your soulmate, we're not fit. To, we're not talking about basically ceasing your life and not uh and not working on yourself and just kind of just waiting around like oh and not dating other people and having other adventures because you feel like this person's going to come back or you feel like this person's going to start acting right what we mean by um waiting is maybe the time is not right now and if the time is not right now then you should do exactly what you you should do exactly what this person is doing which is working on themselves i feel like this person has a lot of battles in their life right now like they're going through a lot right now this could be with family this could be if they have like some type of business or 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 career or something like that but whoever is around them they have a group of people around them and they feel like they're uh, they're under a lot of pressure from this group of people they feel like they're under a lot of uh, pressure from this group of people i feel like they're um having like arguments or some shit like it's, it's just something with a group of people and they been, this, this person basically feels like they have to fight for their life every day over something something they said or did or you know something they said or did or something like that right so I feel as though this was going on with your person is they got a lot. They just have a lot going on in their life right now. They have so much going on in their life right now. And because they have so much going on in their life right now, it's just like they're not so much focused on you and they can't be. Next thing you have is worthiness. So as far as this person, I feel like this car is more so about you. I feel like you need to do, I feel like you're worthy. Whatever you want in life or whatever makes you happy in a relationship, mentally, physically, emotionally, you're worthy of that. And you need to give yourself that. So if you're not getting it from this person, like I know it hurts, but it's, it's best for you to just manifest another person. Just try to manifest another person. Think about exactly what you want. Um exactly what you want exactly what you want them to, to smell like look like 
uh, talk like, act like, you know, exactly what type of person you want and try to manifest that. It's no, sometimes it's no good in uh, actually uh, trying to fix a person because you can exhaust yourself and by the time you get that person to where you need them to be, you're going to do nothing, you're going to be nothing but resentful and hateful towards that person because you feel like you're going to, you know, they're going to continue using and abusing you and making you upset and making you cry and making you, all this other shit, you know what I'm saying? So, but to avoid that, it's better to just try to find something that's already made. Let somebody else do the work for you. <laughs> Let somebody else do the work for you, okay? So, I feel, I feel that way, I feel that way about that situation. So, let's get some more cards. Yeah, you have patience and you have follow your heart. So I feel like um uh you should have more patience with your love life. I feel like I understand that sometimes we meet people like but again, before I say that, I want to say we do have multiple soulmates. So just because something did not work out with somebody does not mean they not they're not your soulmate or not meant to be with you. It just means that maybe you met them at a bad time or maybe things escalated in their life in a different way before they met you or maybe they're you know, you know, it's just Things don't always work out the way they're supposed to work out, but we have multiple soulmates. So if you feel like, if you feel, if you feel as though, um, if you feel as though like you've been waiting for a long time and it's like, damn, I don't really want to let this person go because now I've been waiting for me to actually like somebody and now I have to let this person go. Don't be, you got to understand that you have to keep waiting if it's not for you or if it's not a good fit. But the thing is not to just wait. That's the thing that gets people. It's not to just wait. You get what I'm saying? It's, just, it's to be in waiting, but to be in waiting in a way of, um, it's to be in waiting, but to be in, in waiting in a way of being active with your life and moving forward with your life and doing things that make you happy and doing things that, that elevate you as a person. You get what I'm saying? So, but to, like, yes, you're uh, waiting for your soulmate, waiting for your other half, waiting to be in a relationship, but you're not even focused on that. You're really focusing on yourself, which is, again, is going to attract a partner into you. So just pour, pour that into yourself. Again, then you have follow your heart. What do your heart think you should do? I feel like a lot of times you think that you may be moving impulsively because you're like, oh, maybe I should just stop talking to this person. Or maybe I should to stop dating this person maybe i should stop calling them or whatever you're like no i'm just being impulsive i'm just you know no that's actually your heart that's your heart telling you like you know i don't like this this is not making me happy this is making me upset you feel me if every other, if every other day you feel like you need to cut somebody out or curse somebody out or um or go angry with somebody Yeah, that that speaks value. So your last card out is clarity. So with the clarity card, what I'm saying with this is like you gotta give yourself peace of mind. I feel like I feel like with this relationship, you don't really have a peace of mind. Like again, I don't think this person is purposely a bad person. I don't think their intentions is to like make you confuse or bog you up or make you feel like you're not shit and all that stuff like that. But by default, you're starting to feel this way. By default, you're starting to feel this way because by default you're starting to feel this way because um you feel by default you're starting to feel this way because um I feel like this person is not pouring into the relationship as much as they're pouring into their and pouring into their self. And I feel like instead of reacting in a way of like, why are you not pouring to me? Why don't you want this relationship? Why this? Why that? And when are they going to have time for me? And da, 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 da. just do the same thing they're doing and pour into yourself. And somebody who wants to make the time and somebody who wants to be with you will be with you. So that's why I feel like we have worth waiting for because I mean... Just because I say don't wait for this person or just because I say date other people doesn't mean this can't circle back in the future. I feel like this is something that might circle back in the future. Um, let's get a card on that. Spirit, do you feel like this is on yeah, you have attraction because this person is very much attracted to you. This person does like you. This person would like to move forward and with things for, with you, but they're not... Um, they're not they're not in the space to do so they're not in the space to do so i would just work on myself i would i would take my energy back and work on myself that's what i would do what's the, what's some advice
acceptance. Spirit wants you to date around. Spirit wants you to date around. Spirit wants you to um, check out other connections. See if this is what you really want. Instead of just settling for it and trying to make it work. They want you to see if this is something that you really want. And see, and see if it's better out there. But I feel like you might have a better option out there. Or at least an option that's better for right now. To keep you busy until this person comes around. You get what I'm saying? Until this person works on something. Because I don't feel like. I feel like they're not even in a like, position to have a relationship right now. They want one, but they're not even in that position. So the worst thing you could do is be with somebody who's not ready to be in a relationship or try to force yourself to be with somebody who's not in a relationship, who's who not ready to be in a relationship. But that's what I see for you, pile number one. I hope that it resonates. If it does, please let me know. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Hit the post notification bell so you can be notified every time I post a video. If you're interested in a personal reading, that information description box below. If you're interested in turn my free reading giveaway, all you have to do is leave a red heart in the comment section below. And with that being said, I'm going to move on to my next pile. Oh, yeah. Don't forget, guys, to join my Patreon so you can see my Freaky Fridays every Friday. Also, I'll be putting spells up there that I don't put on YouTube by Blood Magic, for real, for real. And all my money spells that I use to make money inside my businesses and stuff like that. Uh, and I also will be going live on there. And when I go live, I do the questions for free. But when I go live on regular YouTube, the questions are $5. So it's more for the value. You know what I'm saying? And I'll go, like, as long as I possibly want. Sometimes it'd be, like, maybe an hour, two hours, or however long I feel like I want to be on there. And I'll take as many questions in, in, within that hour. But versus when I get on live on here, I'm only doing, you know, a certain amount and I'm only, and they have, there are, there, it is $5 a question, right? Um, also, if you would like a free, if you would like a personal reading right now, today is the last day I'm having my sale before I start my um, New Year's readings, which I'll be starting this weekend. I'll post that up. Uh, those readings will be 23-23. But as far as my readings, as far as my readings um, right now, my 24-hour readings are... I feel like they're nineteen dollars or something like that. It's some low price, uh, and then um, and it's a twenty-four hour turnaround. And then you have the two-hour turnaround email questions. You can ask two questions, but it's an email type. It's not a video like this. Those are nine ninety-nine. So this is the last day to get that, and the prices will be going up. But with that being said, we're gonna move on to pile number two. Okay, pile number two. Let's see. So your first card out is forgiving and learning. So as you release and heal the past, the experience more love in your present moments. So how I feel about this, should you leave your person or should you stay? I feel like what I'm getting with this reading, pile number, pile number uh, two, I feel like I don't think you should necessarily leave your person but I feel like you got to have more patience. Like, I feel like with this, with this forgiving and learning, I think spirit is saying like right now, like you might have been the type of person that's been acting out of like, um, I don't want to say pain, but uh, I feel like this is my pile where that exes used to really get on their nerves. Like your exes used to really like rub you the wrong fucking way. It just, it is, I feel like you stayed with them too long. I'm about to explain myself. I feel like you stayed. I still. I feel like you stayed with them too long. And the reason why I said bring up your ex, I feel like sometimes when you stay with you for a long time, they do shit and they start to irritate you. And then it's like you get into another relationship, and it's like this person hasn't done as bad as like your ex did, but they're starting to do little shit like oh, take too long, text back, or or take or, or forget to. Um, 
I don't know, forget to take out the trash or some shit. And then it, it, it gives you PTSD. You're like, oh, I remember my ex, my bum ass ex used to forget to take out the trash. Or he used to text me back like five hours later and shit like that. So I know this just the beginning. I know this is the beginning. But that's like innocent mistakes. So, I, so spirit is saying like you're taking out innocent mistakes on this person. Hmm. Yeah, they're saying that you're not seeing a difference. You're more so waiting for this person to end up like your other relationships. Over any little sign that anybody can make. Like, it's not like this person is like doing the same exact gaslight and get exited. But again, like little shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like calling late or some shit like that. And you're like, oh, well, you know what I'm saying? But it's like, you, you can be stern, but it's like, you get what I'm saying? The next card out is ownership. So it's some type of crack in this foundation here with this person. It's like spirit is saying like most of the time it's good. Most of the time things are like together and stuff like that. But it's like sometimes it's like little shit be happening. And it's like the little thing that can happen can ruin your whole foundation. So I feel like you you might be in that phase where it's like you, you guys might break up every week. Or you put them out every time you get mad. Or it's like. Are you leave every time you get mad? Are you start like you like oh why did you do me or something like that? It's like you give up way too easy. Yeah, because there's a difference between not tolerating bullshit and just giving up way too easy. You have then you have the listening card. I feel like you guys need to learn how to communicate to this person because maybe they would listen to you if you tell them, but it's like you feel like at this point you don't want to tell anybody anything anymore. You don't want to tell somebody how to treat you. You don't want to and I, I get it. I get it. But like I don't know. I just don't agree with the thing that people should always know because I feel like it's some people that really don't know. Like, how can you know everything? Like, everybody is different. So maybe what their ex cared about, you don't care about. Or what their ex didn't care about, you care about. You know what I'm saying? So, they're, like, all, all people can do is go off their previous experiences. So if they're not used to somebody who wants them to call them and text them all day and shit like that, how would they know that's what you want if you never said, hey, I don't like our communication? Now, if you voice your... Now, if you can, now if you voice your uh, opinion and that person does not take heed to your opinion or does not listen to your opinion, that's when you know like they really don't give a fuck. But at least try to communicate it to them first. So that's what I'm seeing for you. Yeah, harmony. So it's like spirit wants to remind you, like for a relationship to work, you guys gotta work together. You guys got to work together. It has to be some sort of balance as well. So it's like you got to also talk to this person like, hey, what do you need from me? And what do I need? And this is what I need from you. And what do you need from me? Like you got to actually like, I feel like it's not a lot of communication in here. And like all, all this person does is be like, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And you're tired of hearing I'm sorry. But the reason why you're hearing I'm sorry is not because they keep doing the same shit. It's because they keep doing little shit that they didn't think that was going to, they they didn't think that was going to bother you because they just not used to having to do it. But yeah, you have thoughtfulness. Um, they also saying like, you don't, you have to appreciate, they ain't y'all ass today. They ain't y'all ass today. They want y'all to think about all the little shit that your person does do for you or wants to do for you or voices to you. It says you don't even think about that. You're so concerned with them being perfect. You're so you're, you're so concerned with not being played again or not being... Uh, and you really can't get played. You can learn a lesson. That's pretty much it. You're not going to die. But 
But it's like you treat this relationship as some type of war. You need to be more honest with your partner and allow your partner to be honest with you. It wants you to get off your high horse. They keep telling you that this, the angels around keep telling, they keep trying to tell you like to get off your high horse. They keep trying to tell you like you should communicate and stuff like that. I feel like it goes to the, even to the extent where you may have had the opportunity, but just sat there and said nothing. Okay, Pisces, Sagittarius, Aquarius, um, no, not Aquarius, Taurus and Capricorn, Virgo, Cancer. Hmm. Let's see what this person is going to do. This person is going to keep trying to work with you. Hopefully you keep trying to work with them because they, they plan to keep trying to work with you. If you show them, if you show them how you want to be treated, if you tell them how you want to be treated, that's what they're going to do. Like this person is not a bad person or they're just a fucking dummy. And I think you know that. I think you know they're just a big dummy. They're, you're a big dummy. Like they, they literally, they never had to treat nobody a certain way or do stuff a certain way because whoever they was with before you just like accepted certain things and they're used to people accepting certain things. But yeah, this person is definitely going to listen to you this person is definitely going to take heat and this person is going to actually change and do the things that you need them to do as long as they're aware of it so i would take i would i would actually um okay you sure yeah i would actually give them a chance i would actually sit down and try to have a conversation with them it says spread your wings i know you're scared I know you're scared because you guys might have just got out of a toxic relationship or been in toxic relationships all your life. And like, and now you feel like every relationship that you hit being is going to be toxic. You get what I'm saying? I feel as though the best thing for you to do is just try. Spread your wings and actually try with this person. Spread your wings and actually try. Like, I know it's going to hurt, but the worst thing can happen is you get your heart broken, but then you just heal your heart and you move forward and you'll find someone new. You take the lessons that you learned from that person and you move forward and you, and you and use it to find you something more, you know, better. But I don't think this person is trying to hurt your heart at all. I feel like this person just literally just not all, all the way up there. And I feel like it's because they don't have either much experience in relationships or... Or their last relationship was just very low maintenance. Okay? But with that being said, that is your reading pile number. That's your reading pile number. Um, one, I hope it resonates. If it does, please let me know. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Hit the post notification bell every time I post a video. If you're interested in a personal reading, that information description box below. If you're interested into my free reading giveaway, all you have to do is leave a rare heart in the comment section below. Please note to join my Patreon for $3.99 so you can see our, my exquisite readings and Freaky Fridays. Also, if you're interested in a personal reading right now, I'm having a same-day sale for uh, $9.99 for two-hour turnaround email questions. And I think it's about $19 or $20, $22 maybe for a 20 uh 24 hour turnaround reading with five questions or um you don't have to buy anything just like this and share this video with that being said i'll see you guys in my next meeting bye